Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, hi I'm Madeline and I'm so happy that you guys are here today. Today I'm going to be talking about my goals for 2021. I'm super excited to film this video because I hope that it is motivating to you to come up with your goals for the year and also more accountability on my part just to make sure that I'm on track to reach my goals and that I'm working hard towards them. Go ahead and comment your 2021 goals down below. I would love to hear them and I might actually add some more to my list. I just have them written in my little like bullet journal thing. They are not really organized whatsoever. They're kind of in the order I thought of them in. I am just gonna go through them and I also made some little like trackers to help me keep track of my goals and i'm just really excited i'm feeling super motivated and i am just ready for the new year without further ado let's jump on into the video so my first little like section is um pertaining to my um social media following which is something that i want to make a career into it is something i want to take seriously social media and like creating content and stuff is something that i am very passionate about so i have pretty big goals <laughs> My three main platforms that I am like working towards is Instagram, YouTube, and then TikTok. My current Instagram following is 3,302 followers and my goal by the end of the year is 4,000. And I feel like that is realistic because it is only 700 away. But at the same time, like, I feel like growing on Instagram is so hard for me. I don't know. Um, I just need to do more research into like algorithm and stuff like that. Um, on all the platforms I'm trying to grow on. I just need to do some research into it, figure out how to grow. My current YouTube subscriber count is 314 and my goal is 1,000. And I feel like that is gonna be very difficult to do just cause learning the YouTube algorithm and growing on YouTube is hard. I'm still a little more new to YouTube. I am starting my channel back up again with my new camera and stuff. So I'm going to start taking this a lot more seriously than I was before sticking to my schedule. I'm making a schedule and posting times. Um, it's going to be, as of right now, it is Mondays and Wednesdays at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'm just super excited to grow on YouTube. I think that it's just so fun. I love making videos. And I have a lot of really fun video ideas for 2021 that I am so excited to make for you guys. My last, like, social media platform goal is TikTok. And I want to get 20,000 followers on TikTok right now. I am at 12,000. 539. I feel like TikTok has been a lot easier for me to grow on, so I feel like this is... I'm hoping for sure something that I will achieve. I'm still working on finding like what I want to make all my TikToks about and sticking to like one topic like fashion, beauty, vlogs, fitness, nutrition. Like I don't really know what I want to stick my TikTok to yet because just the most random stuff I do goes viral on TikTok. So like I just don't know what to like stick to on there. So I actually have another one kind of related to social media and YouTube and that is to get monetized which goes along with getting a thousand subscribers because if you don't make YouTube videos, you wouldn't know that you have to have a thousand subscribers and fit other criteria in order to get monetized. Um, social media and YouTube is something, like I said earlier, I wanna make a career out of. It's something that I'm passionate about. And so getting monetized will definitely help me towards that because I do want to make this into a full-time job. I know it's a lot of hard work to get monetized on YouTube and growing on YouTube and just making it into a job, but it is something that I really love and I am willing to work hard to get there, so I'm very excited. So my next three are kind of more related to health and fitness. Um, my first one is to work out a minimum of three days a week, which doesn't sound like a lot, especially for someone that wants a career in like the fitness field. But um, I'm a full-time student right now and I work at a boutique when I'm in school. So getting a full workout in three times a week and by full workout, I mean like warm up, weightlifting, cardio, cool down, stretch, like the whole shebang three times a week. That's really hard for me to do, but I want to make my health and fitness a priority this year, especially if that's a career I want to go into, stuff like that. My next one is to eat healthier. This kind of goes along like with what I was just talking about, like health is something I'm passionate about. It's the type of career field I'm going into. And I feel like that eat healthier is just not specific at all. What I mean by that is like meal prepping, less processed foods, more fruits and veggies, stuff like that. Just focus more on my nutrition and what I'm putting into my body because food is fuel and food is very important. So 
I want to make sure that I am giving my body all the good things. My next health related one is to take vitamins every day, which seems like a really small thing. Vitamins and stuff are very important and like especially stuff like multivitamins, so, so good for you. And I also take, when I remember, I have hair vitamins and stuff and I'm trying to grow my hair out, so obviously that's important too. That is just a teeny tiny goal that I want to accomplish in 2021. I have another one and that is to add a thousand dollars into each of my savings accounts, which doesn't seem like a lot, but like I don't have a big girl job. I work at a boutique, so like I don't have a ton of money. So to me, saving a thousand dollars in both my savings accounts it's $2,000 and that's a lot of money for me, so. And I know a lot of people are gonna wonder what I mean by having two savings accounts. One of them is just a regular one that I've had since I was like 10, that is where my 4-H auction money went into was that savings account. My second one, this is gonna seem really, really extra, but if you know me, like personally, this won't surprise you at all, but one of them is a wedding savings account. I'm trying to save up for when I get married just so that I can help pay for my wedding. And I know like a lot of people are like, you're only 20, like why are you already planning your wedding? Um, if you don't know, my boyfriend is in the military. He um, is in school right now to be an officer and as soon as he graduates, the plan right now is to get married because he leaves right after that to go to um, nuclear power school in South Carolina. So that is where we will be moving to. And so like we have a timeline so planning my wedding now I'm not like full-on planning it but like starting to save money and stuff for it is not Like a crazy thought like it's coming up another one This one is gonna be <laughs> really hard for me and it's kind of funny, but it's to buy Starbucks less but my goal is to do only get Starbucks once every other week and I feel like that's gonna be really hard for me because I love Starbucks so much. So we'll see how far I get with that one. That one, I might not be able to do that one, you guys. So this next one I wanna do is read through the Bible in a year. I've attempted this so many times and I just get stuck like a month into it. I'm looking up like an online template. I can't decide if I wanna do it like chronologically or if I just wanna read through it. I've never been able to do that. So hopefully this year is the year that I will read through the Bible. My next one, is read one book a month which doesn't sound like a lot but i'm a busy person i used to love reading so much i just never have time to do it anymore so this year i want to make time and read at least one book a month my last one is to start using my bullet journal again which is this guy right here and also my planner i do use my planner but like i go through periods where i will write out like a whole month of my life in my planner and then i won't touch it until it's time to write out like the next month of my life and that's not really what the point of a planner is like I want to use it every day and actually keep track of stuff in there and then my bullet journal I've had this for like two years and I've not finished it um I do right now have well you can't see it but I have my video ideas that's January right there I have a vlogmas calendar that I made this was it's falling out but this was my vlogmas schedule right here and then I have trackers for all of my, or not all of my goals, but some of my goals are in here. But I just love like writing and making lists and like organizing stuff. So um, I'm very excited to get back into like my journal and my planner and stuff. So those were my goals as of right now for 2021. I might add some more as I get like <laughs> inspired throughout the year or whatever. I might just add more to it. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below what your goal for 2021 is. Be sure to click the subscribe button and also turn on your notification bell so that you won't miss an upload from me.